Hi there, welcome to day 19 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. My name is Sarah Snelson. I'm the North Area Pastor and I also help oversee audacious families. We work to help strengthen with families within church by running parenting courses and individually supporting parents and carers when needed. We also run the Parents' Lounge at Youth every Friday night where we build relationships and share ideas and encouragement for our parenting journey, which is particularly needed when you're parenting teenagers. It is my privilege and pleasure today to be praying with you um, for all of our audacious families. Joshua 24, 15 says, But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. This is a simple statement of intention of putting God first, walking in his ways, building church and speaking his truth within our homes, ensuring that this is what our children see and experience from the moment they are born. It is thinking of and planning for the generational promises, that, sorry, the generational blessings that God promises will come from us prioritising him within our homes. Psalm 11, 1 to 2 says, Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. It's teaching our children a fear of the Lord, not something that we're scared of, but a deep awe of the power of God. We do this by having the fear of the Lord deeply embedded within ourselves. And it is then our responsibility to teach our children this, showing them how much God loves them, training them to hate sin and the separation it brings, teaching them to love God's commands and living life to the full in the blessings that this leads to. These are strong foundations that should never be underestimated. Our choices as parents will always have the strongest influence on our children. And when we're part of a church, we are part of a family and all of our choices have an influence on the next generation rising up. We can be the spiritual parents for the young Christians that don't yet experience a godly home. My parents have always been devoted to building church, being planted, serving, tithing, speaking truth and encouragement into the lives of others. And they have always demonstrated what it is to live in the fear of the Lord and to reap those blessings. My paternal grandparents lived the same way and I'm sure generations before them did too. Although I chose to walk away from God for a short while, the fear of the Lord was always there in the depths of my spirit. When I came back into a relationship with God, I was full throttle, wanting to obey him and live in his blessings. The good choices of previous generations positioned me well to fear the Lord, delight in his commands and to teach my children the same. So in 2024, let's really focus on praying for us to take on the responsibility of ensuring that godly blessings are passed on from generation to generation. One, let's pray for God's peace and strength within families, that those that are struggling will feel so loved on by our church that they rise up in faith and see great breakthrough this year. Two, pray that the fear of the Lord guides us to make consistently great choices as adults, remembering that our children and others around us are constantly exploring their own faith by watching how we outlive ours. Three, declare that these choices we make take root within our children, influencing and positioning them and the next generation rising up to do the same. Four, pray that we as parents, carers and people of influence amongst the young have patience, wisdom and understanding as we speak truth, life and encouragement into them. And number five, pray that this next generation delights in living powerful and blessed lives by fearing God and aligning themselves to his ways and showing the world how good he is. Have a great day, church. See you soon. Bye.